<coughs> Hello, I would like to teach you how to play the graphic score of my piece Fuck This Arsehole in Typewriter. So I've got the score here. This is page one. And I'm going to play the. So, top line is for violin, then second violin, then viola, and then cello, and you play it from left to right. And the, in, the density of the line indicates how intense the thing is played. So if it's a thin line without much pressure, then it's uh, just played piano or you know, softly. Um, also, I'd like you to pay heed to the gaps. So wherever there's a, a drawing and then a gap, the gap is a silence, but it can be easy to miss those. So it's um, indeterminate pitch, and I want you to make sense of it yourself, but this is an example of how I would play each of these. Um, and you're supposed to be listening to each other, so you're not... They're, they're sort of supposed to be played at the same time. <clears throat> at the same time. So if you can listen to each other and see how fast each of you are playing. So, this is how I play the top line. Not easy to play those double stops for me. Okay, second violin line would be something like, as I interpret it here, never played it before, but. And the viola line, something like... And the cello line, these, these things I think of as pizzicato sounds, but really they're just something explosive, whatever explosive sound. So might, I might play something like... Okay, so those pop things could all, they don't have to be pizzicato, they could be um, or any other thing that makes sense to you for that image. Let me see if there's anything else. So, whenever there's a two things together, that would be double stops. Um, so, let's have a look. This 
wiggly thing here on the second page for the cello would be it's high so it's played high and it's not a dense line so it would be soft something like and if you can follow the exact line suppose that part of the fun is that you find your own solutions so I shouldn't tell you too much this page has whistles on it so they're all at the same time and you'll be doing glissando whistling <coughs> or I suppose the cello part doesn't do much it's a very gradual gliss um, let me see, something like this with a bit of texture, I would think of as maybe... But you could also do... Or maybe even... have, are they called quadruple stops? So it starts with, I mean you know how to play four strings but because they're dense lines they would be noisy that you can decide as long as it makes logical sense to you these kind of things where it's a, a harsh line <coughs> that basically means it's not a flowing glissando it's more of a This one's a kind of a. Everyone on this page is doing the same thing in different like variations. So if you can make sure you stick precisely to the sequence, so this is going up and then staying where it is and then going down. So if, rather than just playing generic ups and downs, if you stick exactly to the what you can see then it will sound like you know what you're doing. So here we've got double stops and here we've got options for <coughs> uh, if you want to do pits or if you want to do whatever the, using the tip of the, the bow will be. Ow. some sort of semi-pitch sounds. I think the rest are self-explanatory. I mean this one looks like a heart rate monitor. I suppose so they're all somewhere in the middle of the instrument so pitch wise you're in the middle. <coughs> I'll play the top one. And then 
onto this next double stopping thing. Actually, <clears throat> I'm not very good at double stops, so I would cross, I would probably cross that. So you have my permission on double stops to do something like that here at the end. So these are kind of wild. like that but they if you notice the end of the piece everybody has a dot so I think I'd like you to all stop at the same time and end on something you can you can work that out yourselves decide what you want as long as you end all playing whatever you decide that dot means together and then the audience thinks you know what you're doing thank you very much let me know how it goes bye